now. Getting over abroad. Howdy, Bill. Go fuck yourself. All right. I broke up with my girlfriend seven months ago, several months ago, and I'm having trouble getting over her. We broke up because I had to move for school. I swore to myself I would stop contacting her because I was becoming psychotic and jealous, and I did. I am still finding myself thinking about her all the time. All of the girls in my new town are horrific monsters. If they aren't white trash, ugly cunts. They are super hot, but brain dead and boring and way out of my league. Dude, how is somebody brain dead and boring out of your league? What, because they're super hot? Just walk up to her. What is she going to say? All she's going to do is say no. <laughs> I'm not saying she's going to say no every time, but you got to listen. Listen, let me tell you something. Do you want a fucking beautiful girl? Do you want to marry a fucking beautiful woman? A beautiful, smart woman. Isn't that what every guy wants to do? Well, you're not going to do it if you're too afraid to talk to him. All right? So why don't you practice on a brain-dead, stupid one so someday when that girl walks in and takes your breath away, you're going to have the fucking balls over there to walk up, you know? Say something witty while you got your hand on a clam. No, don't do that. You don't do that. Okay, don't do that. You know what I'm saying. All right? Anyways, my ex-girlfriend was smart, hot, funny, cool, and was really into me. I tried getting over her by banging other chicks, but it doesn't work. It just leaves them brokenhearted and makes me feel worse. Well, wait a minute. How are they brokenhearted after you just banged them? That means you bang them for a couple of weeks and then tell them to fuck off. Don't do that. You, you should just be, you know, stick and move. All right? Anyways, he says, I can't seem to find anyone that can measure up to my ex. Need more solutions. All right. Well, you know, when you break up with somebody that you care about and they have all those good attributes, it's going to be a while before you meet another one. All right? So you just got to go through it, dude. If you, if you, if you don't want to get back together with the other girl, you know, then what you got to do is you got you to learn to be fucking single again. You got to remember, what did I do before I met that last girl? What did I do? Oh, well, let's see. I had beers. I fucking worked out. I watched football or whatever the fuck you did. I went to one of the, I went to the Hunger Games. I read that trilogy of books or whatever the fuck that is. You know, it hurts. Okay? Breaking up with somebody who's awesome, but it's just not right or whatever, it hurts. So accept it. All right? Platoon. Take the pain. You know? Why don't you sit down and have a good cry? Just fucking cry it out of you. Every day. Just wake up. Think about it. Let When your bottom lip starts quivering, don't stop it. Just give in to it. That's what kills guys. We don't cry. Just fucking cry. Just fucking cry. Put your face in your pillow and cry like a little fucking girl. I shouldn't have said girl. Just fucking cry like a human being. Why do we deny that emotion as men? Just let it out. All right, then wake up, you know, once you're done crying. Go in the bathroom, put your face on. <laughs> go get yourself a bowl of Fruit Loops. And just, you know, after you're done crying, I'm going to get through this. You, you hype yourself up. I'm have a good day today. Go hit on some fucking hot, brain-dead, boring fucking broad. It just is practice. Just is practice, okay? You're going to find another one. You sound like you're still young. It's not like you're 50. Even then, at 50, I swear to God, if you're making money, you can probably still get like a hot 34-year-old. You know, I wouldn't go any younger than that, you know, because you got to think by the time you're 60, she's going to be 44. She could still hang in there for that, you know? And all you got to do is just keep fucking spinning around in the bedroom for another five years, and then she's too old to give a fuck. And then you got her, and she'll be patting, patting your fucking, rubbing your forehead as you're laying there in your deathbed. You know, telling you that you did did the right thing. You go any younger than that, they, they have options and they'll leave you. All right? So get over broad. That's what you got to do. You got to cry it out of you and you just got to accept that it's going to hurt and it's, it takes time. Okay? But, uh, you know, don't run back to the other one just because you're lonely. All right? Because then you're going to have to fuck it. You're going to have to break up with them again. <clears throat> you know, it's like fucking Iraq. If we just did it right the first time. We wouldn't have to go back the second time, you know? Didn't make any sense. Um, all right. 